Alright, hey guys. Um, feels formal to talk into the camera this way, but I think I have a lot to say. So let's try to catch you guys up. So I just finished my third board and train. Um, yesterday was supposed to be his pickup. He is a four month old golden. He's a four month old Bernadoodle. His name is Louis. Terrible accident happened yesterday. I took him out to walk him in the morning and during one of the moments where he was trying to be rebellious and bite the leash attachment to his prong collar, he got a hold of his own ear and started chewing up his fucking ear. So he ended up severing a part of his ear off and I had to take him to the hospital. So just to provide a little bit of explanation, Louie has been throwing tantrums the entire week he has been with me. He is a real, real fighter, trust me. Like the first day, first three days, I'd say he threw multiple tantrums throughout the day. Doing anything with him was difficult because he would be making loud noises, vocalizing like crazy. He would be whining, wailing. I would be trying to walk him outside the neighborhood or even take him out to pee. I was trying to make him sit and wait at the door and he would just sit there and whine and whine and whine and then start throwing a tantrum. So um, doing a lot of basic stuff with him was difficult, but he made dramatic improvements throughout the week and he was supposed to have his go home. But unfortunately, that accident happened and I had to take him to the hospital. I called his owner, she met me there and his procedure ended up taking all day. More like they weren't able to operate on him right away because it wasn't an emergency. But unfortunately, um, the surgery was pretty expensive. I do have it in my contract that veterinary care while he's undergoing training would be the responsibility of the owner. But maybe because this is my first time and also because I felt responsible for what happened because it did occur in my care, I decided to eat up most of the cost. So the surgery was $1,500 and I decided to pay for a thousand of it. So yesterday was just a really, really, really bad day. Um, by the time that we were able to leave the uh, hospital, we were basically just sitting outside because we were communicating with the doctors. We probably could have left sooner, but we just wanted to see what was going on, see what would end up being the best options for him, discuss the pricing and all that. Um, so Louie is home with his owner now. He was picked up last night by her and she has been keeping me up to date saying that he is recovering and feeling better, which is good. Um, yesterday also, I had to pick up my friend Shane's dog, Aegon. Um, Aegon is a dog that I've known ever since he was a puppy and he just needed him to be watched for one night because he wanted to go camping and um, yeah I picked him up and it has been an interesting experience just taking care of a second dog like I know that I've had to for board and train dogs but Aegon is different because Aegon is fairly trained um, he has been a breeze to work with because he has been on e-collar ever since he was a puppy he has a prong collar, he has been crate trained, just all of the excellent foundational stuff that has made watching Aegon super, super easy. Um, I just took them both for a hike earlier and I had them both off leash. Normally I would not off leash somebody else's dog without confidence that I could trust, you know, them listening to me. But I did a couple recalls with him, I did a couple obedience commands with him while on the trail and he listened. So I was like, fantastic. This is awesome like watching Aegon is not extra effort whatsoever yesterday's experience definitely challenged my confidence as a dog trainer a bit because I've never had an accident occur during a board and train but I've only had three board and trains and truthfully um, I'm so glad that I had all those great videos to post for Louie and his progress because the owner loved those videos. She recognized that he was making really, really good progress and he was also doing so well. She was so happy with the walk video. She was really happy with the obedience videos and just seeing how calm he was around Raleigh. All really, really great things. So even though the accident happened, she has been so understanding. Now, oh, 
Another thing I definitely have to mention that is extremely exciting is I am moving. Yes, finally. So I do not like my current neighborhood. I already mentioned that the second I moved into this house. But a couple weeks ago, I was occasionally just checking every single day for houses that went up. And there was a house that went up in El Cajon and it is a little bit smaller living space. It's about 900 square feet, but it has a nice big yard. The thing about this yard though, is that it's not all grass. The thing is, it has been pretty difficult to find a house with just grass and space for a backyard. Most of the times there's always like, you know, people designing it with shit or like filling it with rocks and all this other crap. So this yard is spacious. There is, a decent amount of space on the sides that are just covered with rocks that would make decent fetch areas. So when I looked at it, I was thinking, you know what, I can buy some turf and just put it on top of the rocks and then Riley can just run up and down it. It's a, it'll be like a pathway instead of just like a big square block of place to play fetch in. I was just thinking it'll be like a landing strip, you know, a long runway where she can run for the ball because all I really need is you know a path for her to run to catch the ball and that's that's it so um, the great thing about this house is that there are two AC units one is in the living room one is in the bedroom um, there's a garage yes there is a garage so I can put my motorcycle in there I don't have to use a stupid cover for it anymore and I also can put my bicycle in there um, another thing is I also like the neighborhood way better. So the main street that my house is on, the neighborhood is an improvement, but I still think it's mediocre. However, just one block over, um, there is a really nice neighborhood, a nicer neighborhood that I will probably end up walking Raleigh in all the time. So I'm just beyond excited for this. I plan on moving mid-November. Basically right after my trip to my brother's, I will be moving. So even though I have about three weeks, I have been preparing. I already hired my movers. Um, I need to start switching my utilities and you know switching my internet. I'm assuming my internet can still be transferred to that area, but I have to check. Um, I've started packing as well because there's a lot of stuff in cabinets that I don't use on a daily basis that can just be put in a box already. Something I was going to do later today is I was going to take a bunch of my clothes like half my wardrobe and put them in a suitcase already because all I wear nowadays is just active wear. So I don't need my fashion stuff hanging in my closet. I can just start packing them away and getting ready for my move. But that is something I cannot, cannot wait because I am tired of living in this house. Um, I, yeah, I don't enjoy my walks around here. I never really have. Uh, not having a proper way to cool the house is forever annoying. That's something you experience on a daily basis. So even though it is probably starting to get cool soon, it hasn't yet. So there's still days where it's still hot and I need to have the AC on. And my landlord, um, he seems pretty cool. He also rides a motorcycle. Always a good thing. Um, actually in regards to my motorcycle, I need to... I need to change my oil. I did also ask them if they could look it over because every time, ever since I've gotten it, I would only bring it in for an oil change, but I wouldn't actually check to make sure that everything is running properly. So it's been a while and I want that checked. So that is something I need to do soon. Ideally, I do it as soon as possible. That way I can still go for joy rides. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I have, but I dropped my bike once before going on a joyride with Jose. So there's a scrape on the right side of my bike in like two small areas, but basically the paint is cracked and the <laughs> appearance of it bothers me a lot. So I want to get that fixed. Um, when I called the place nearby, they said that the fix would cost around $250. So that's why I have kind of put it off for a little bit. Um, right now, especially after yesterday, I am probably tight-ish on money, so spending $250 on a appearance thing for my motorcycle is not high on the priority list. Also, I have to deal with like the move, security deposit, 
all this other stuff. So can't be too spendy with money, even though I always am. Um, and I guess today is, the rest of today is just a really, really chill day. I am so happy today. I'm surprised that I'm in such a good mood today after what happened yesterday. But I woke up this morning, I felt extremely rested. I also felt like I was in a great mood. First thing I read this morning was Louis' owner telling me how he did last night and I'm just glad that she is taking the initiative to, to communicate with me because one of the biggest things that I've been struggling with that I think most people tend to do when accidents like this happen is blaming themselves and not forgiving themselves and just wishing that they acted differently so it wouldn't have happened. So one thing is that despite the owner telling me that she doesn't blame me, I still feel like there might be some bitterness underneath the surface by her because her dog got hurt while he was under my care. But her taking the initiative to communicate with me and um, it, update me on his status really eases my mind on those types of thoughts because she has been so kind to me um, this entire time. Yeah, great day. Um, was excited about the thought of taking both of the dogs hiking because I've never hiked with two dogs under my care before and it went really well. Picked up some bubble tea and now I'm home. I'm probably going to do a workout later today but I'm looking through some of my hiking footage that I want to put into a video. Yeah, just spend the rest of my day doing stuff I enjoy. I'm just in a really good mood. So I hope everybody else is having a great day, a great weekend. And uh, I guess just based on the experience that I had yesterday, I want to remind people that even if something happens that really, really knocks your confidence down, it is a learning experience and you take that experience and move forward with it. So there were definitely moments yesterday where I was like, man, maybe I should just stop doing this business thing. Maybe I should not do this dog training thing. Maybe it's, I'm just not cut out for it. But after yesterday and just seeing how it feels so natural for me when it comes to working with dogs i just have been accepting of what happened and i'm excited and eager to continue on with my business i have really been enjoying it for sure